We are in Southampton, the second busiest container shipping port in the country. We're going to be upgrading the infrastructure so to facilitate longer freight trains running in and out of the port of Southampton. It's vital to the country that we can run longer freight trains. The longer the freight trains that we can run, the more HGVs that we can take off the road and therefore improve the environment for the people that live in the locality and also reduce CO2 emissions across the country. Rail is a much more environmentally friendly way to transport goods and we need to maximise that benefit and having Network Rail provide the infrastructure that we so desperately need to do that is absolutely crucial. So we've got an awful lot of track works which involves a lot of rail cutting and scrapping out of the old track and then replacing it with new infrastructure, new components. It's about two and a half kilometres worth of new track. The infrastructure we're putting in is going to be resilient. It will last um, a good 25 years plus um, before we need to even reconsider coming back in here and uh, renewing any of these assets. So the sheer complexity of this scheme from a technical and engineering perspective uh, is massive. Uh, you only get to work on a job like this, they only come along every few years, so it's really exciting to be part of and ultimately delivering for our freight customers, the Port of Southampton and UK PLC. This project's faced some phenomenal challenges this past year, particularly because of COVID. While the country's been in lockdown, our teams went out on site in all weathers, rain, wind, snow, the depths of winter, delivering for our freight customers and passengers. And I'm so proud of the work that they've put into this. I think this is a real achievement by the whole industry working together. This is an incredibly complex project. Um, and by working together, all of our partners, our delivery partners, our train operators, our freight operators and Network Rail managed to deliver this really complex project whilst at the same time minimising the impact to passengers and freight while we did so. I'm really proud that we have completed what we set out to do. I'm immensely proud of the sheer number of people that were involved in this project. We had over two and a half thousand people across 50 different suppliers and we're really grateful and very, very pleased and proud of the performance of every single individual that worked on the Southampton project.